We appreciate you coming down, but there's nothing available today. We'll let you know. This board represents the new economic reality. We have to lower the daily goals again just to stay afloat. At the Rouge, Ford achieved total vertical integration. From the raw iron ore arriving by freighter to the molten iron ore. The milling operation creates a perfectly flat cylinder hounding surface. The machinist As the crankshaft spins, we detect the imbalance. Precision is critical for a smooth V8 operation and durability. The camshaft positioning is critical for engine performance requiring careful alignment with the lifters for proper valve operation. Fusions. The flathead design is elegantly simple. Once the gasket is in place, the head is carefully lowered and the This cast iron manifold design is critical for even fuel distribution to all eight cylinders. The generator, driven by a belt from the crankshaft, requires careful tensioning. This ensures the 6-volt battery. All gauges are reading nominal, sir. Excellent. These V8s are ready for installation. This 1932 Ford Fender truly embodies the styling of the Depression era. Notice the gentle curves. This assembly station showcases the 1932 five-window coupe body. Note the two additional windows.
The iconic V8 script wasn't just an emblem, it represented a $50 premium and a source of immense pride for the owner. Unlike later hydraulic systems, these mechanical linkages required precise adjustment of the rods and levers connecting the pedal to all four wheels. All right, bring it down slow. Watch the mounts on this side. Roger that. Just a hair more. Okay, I got the pry bar in. The mounts secure the 450 pound V8, isolating vibration. The mounting bolts are now being torqued precisely to specification. This meticulously restored 1932 drivetrain features the iconic flathead V8 and the robust three-speed manual. Easy now, easy. Watch the front mounting point. All right, she's seated. All right, man, lift her up. Watch the trim on that side, easy now. Securing the chrome shell to the fender stock requires a precise touch to maintain that factory look. A simple turn of the latch and the deck pivots up. The tension on this belt is slightly off. All right, let's adjust it now. We can't let standards slip. The 32 V8, my friend, is more than just a car. It's eight cylinders of pure American muscle, built to last. The 1930 Ever II Ford V8 models ranged from 6M Fixie. This V8 engine isn't just power, it's reliability you can count on. It's a fine machine, but times being what they are, it's a lot of money. Congratulations on the new Ford, paid monthly as agreed. <laughs> We appreciate the credit, truly. It's a beautiful machine. It seems the economy is finally turning around. I don't know, Archie. Things are still tight down at the store. But you have to ignore it. They'll never catch us now. We got the fastest car in the county. Five to seven years on, these Fords are still the backbone of the working class, a testament to their sturdy construction in a struggling economy.
Look at the craftsmanship on this engine. We replaced the heads and the manifold. She'll be pushing close to 100 horses when we're done. <laughs> she needs work, but she'll be fast. Here's the money. Take care of her, kid. <sighs> the SCTA events at the Dry Lakes truly captured the spirit of speed. These modified 32 Fords dominated the amateur racing scene. He broke the 100 mile an hour mark for sure. Incredible, I have him at 102. Look at the intake on that deuce. Yeah, he really dialed in the timing on this flathead. Bet she pulls hard off the line. I'm not bragging, babe, so don't put me down. I've got the fastest set of wheels in town. And rolling. Bring the car in now. Keep the speed steady. Looking good. Hold it right there. The bid is at 75, $75,000. Looking for 80 now. 80,000, 80,000. Going once, going twice. The 1932 Ford, or the Deuce as it became known, was a pivotal American automobile 